Okay, welcome to part four of uh, this video series. Okay, so as you guys uh, can see, uh, I went and I finished the bottom lip. Okay, so I did exactly the same as I did with the upper lip. Okay, exactly the same, except just at the bottom. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we have uh, to do is we need to start uh, finishing off the uh, the lip and and the mouth area okay so the first thing that I need to do is I need to go ahead and connect these uh, lips these two lips together okay because currently they are two separate objects okay if I was to select that one with element mode and select this element okay they are two different uh, shapes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look here and I need to see because I need to I need to connect this edge to this one okay so let me let me just see here this one I'm just going to Gonna push that back a little bit. Okay, so let's see what can we do here. <coughs> okay, what I'm thinking, I'm going to take this edge and target weld to this vertex. I'm going to target weld to that one. I'm going to take this edge and this edge and I'm going to bridge that together. Okay, just with one segment. Okay, and that will already make it one element. Okay, let me take this vertex and push it out. Let me just see if I bridge this together. I think I'm going to take this one, I'm going to target weld this one to that edge. Okay, it looks like this one doesn't, uh, doesn't want to target weld. Okay, uh, let's see, what can I do here? Undo this real quick. Okay, I'm going to undo that quickly. And I'm going to bridge these two together just with one segment. Okay, then I'm going to take this vertex and target weld to that one. Push that out. Gonna bridge that. Uh, I'm left with the same issue. Um sometimes this will happen where you're gonna have to really think like what the hell am I gonna do here? Because I have a vertex and I can't have a hole. Unless if I right click and 
cut from here to here and then right click and target weld this edge to that edge there we go and I think that should do it yeah that's perfect okay cool stuff so yeah so sometimes you just are gonna have to think uh, a little bit uh, and just see what it is you can do to try and fix that so all I did was I just uh, on vertex mode you right click and you cut and you can uh, cut in your own segment and I just connected those two vertices together okay so let me just go and shape this uh, lip a little bit okay I'm happy with the way that, lo that looks Okay, <coughs> so the next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to select these edges. So I'm just going to double click that edge and alt click on this part over here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the eye. So I'm going to go to my scale, uh, select and scale and select and uniform scale tool. And then in all directions, we're going to hold down shift and I'm going to drag that out. Okay, so something like that. I'll grab my move tool and just push it off to the side a little bit. And then also I'll go to my left view and then bring that back. Okay, then, I'll can, then I can go back to vertex mode and I can go and do some further shaping to this. I'm going to take this one and push it back. Okay, so something like that. And this one actually is going out way too much. This one needs to go in. Okay, so this, these ones actually need to go in because this is the corner of the mouth. So this needs to go in a little bit and then I'll just shape this. Okay. So this is why I said you need to know you need to have a good understanding of uh, what the human body actually looks like. So I think something like that should be fine. Like I said previously I'm gonna shape this in between lessons I'm not going to spend too much time on that and then what I need to do I have a gap over here so I'll right click target weld that edge to that edge and then I'll do the same here at the bottom right click target weld that one to that one okay it's gonna have to do some more shaping Okay, so something like that. Then, the next thing that I'm going to do is, like I said, if this character is going to be animated, so if this character is going to be talking, then she needs to have enough uh, resolution, and there needs to be enough resolution in here, uh, so when she actually talks, the mouth doesn't deform all weird. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select any one of these edges and then hold shift and select another edge and that will select that entire ring. And then all I'll do is I'll just go to connect and just add in one segment. Okay. Then I can go to my left view and I can even push that back a little bit. Okay. And then again, just do some shaping. Like I said, I'll do mine in between lessons. Okay. 
so once we have that shape okay we need to go and and start with the rest of the face so what I found is the easiest thing to do is to uh, actually create the cheek okay so from the mouth you go and you create the cheek of the character so this area over here so once we have this piece we can go and start filling out this area over here and then again work our way from there so all we need to do is I'm going to go select this corner of the mouth so I can easily see where her cheekbone is going to be okay, so I'm going to select that one and I will go and select this one okay so I'll control edge mode select those two edges okay and then I will bridge and then in this case I'm going to bridge one two three four five six seven okay this is gonna be the nose uh, let's go with six for now we can always add more if we need okay so I'll go with six edges and then all I need to do is I'll just go and shape this okay so it follows that shape of the tweak and go uh, back into vertex mode and I will just go ahead and scale this a little bit make this a little bit thicker something like that okay and that should be that should be fine so all that's left now is we need to go and start blocking in this shape okay so we'll do that next okay so before we start blocking in this area uh, of the face we are going to be creating what is uh, just called uh, face facial edge uh, edge loops. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking uh, edges that we're going to go and uh, follow along the shape of the face. Okay, so this area over here, and then from here we're going to go down to uh, the chin area. So we're going to be basically uh, creating a bunch of lines and then from those lines so those lines are, are basically going to be um, like if I can put it like this like focal points on your face like you have your cheekbones and the chin and all that kind of stuff so we're getting the main lines of the face and then from there uh, we're going to be we're going to have like something like this over here and this character is going to have a lot of holes in her face but then from there we'll go and uh, fill in that geometry okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my front view, I'm going to go to edge mode and then I'm going to select this edge over here just above the nose and this edge over here okay so I'm going to have a row of polygons following this path over here and it's going to go all the way up and go into this one or this one rather yeah above the brow this one okay so all, we'll, all we need to do is we'll go and bridge okay so we need to see we have uh, one two three four five six edges over here and we have one two three four five six over there so this number is a hundred percent I'll go and confirm that and then I will just do just some minor shaping Okay, not too much because once we uh, bring in this nose, uh, we're going to be changing the shape anyway. Okay, then from there I'm going to go s and select this edge, hold down shift, and I'll go and drag that out. Go to vertex mode, and then we'll start shaping this again. Make sure to, to turn this geometry so it flows. Okay, so 
or something like that. Then I'll go back to edge mode, I'll go to my left view, and I will just go and push this back. Okay, so as you can see, this will be her cheek bone. Okay, I'm going to go back to my front view and just shape this a little bit more. Okay, remember this needs to go up. Okay, back to edge mode. So, like this one, I'll go to my left view. And I'm actually gonna drag that out a little bit. Okay, edge mode, and then we'll shift. And I'm just gonna follow that area. Okay, so just going up and over the eye. Okay, so as of right now, we don't really need to worry too much about the size of this polygon. Because as you can see, this one is quite big. And uh, this one needs to go into these ones over here. But uh, we're only getting our uh, basic shape of the face going before we start uh, adding some of the, the smaller features. Okay, I'm going to go back to my front view and then start to push this like that. Okay, I'm going to have to do quite a lot of shaping on these ones. I think later I might actually go and make these ones just a little bit more straight. Okay, something like that. I'll do that fine, final little touches later on. Okay, I'll go back to my front view. Okay, just like that. And then I will bridge these ones together using one polygon. Okay, just like that. Okay. To select this one, I'll go to my left view and just push that up a little bit, and then again, just slowly start to shape that. Take this one and bring it slightly forward. Okay, this one a little bit forward, there we go, okay, so I'm happy with that, okay, so uh, the next part that we have to do 
is the bottom part of the chin so we're going to go from here and go into the chin okay so let's get started with the chin area so I'm going to go from uh, this polygon and go to my front view okay so I'm going to go from this edge and we're going to go all the way down and it's going to flow into this one okay so let's go shift and I'll drag that out Okay, I'll drag about three out and then we'll shape okay and then uh, with that edge selected I'm just going to go to my left view and push that back it might be a little bit hard to see if it is just rotate a little bit around it and then just push that back go back to the left view okay then I'm just going to go to vertex mode and push these ones back just like that Okay. Back to my front view, edge mode, and I'll drag out a few more, and then again start to shape. Okay, this might be a little bit too thick. that edge mode with this edge selected I'm just going to go to my left view and then this is going to slowly start to push forward as it goes around this area go back to my front view and then I'll drag these ones out something like that and then again edge mode go to my left view and then this I'll just push forward okay and I'll do some shaping over here the front view edge mode I'll select these two edges and bridge that with one segment and then just slowly start to shape that again okay so something like that okay so now you can see how this is starting to all fit together so now that we have these two main uh, facial features the cheek bone and um, this part of the cheek over here now we can start adding in the stuff so as you can see that all of this stuff is actually going in a loop so for example this one is going it's making a nice loop and it's going in there this one is going is making a nice loop is going in there so this one actually I'm going to go take this one I'm going to go take this edge and this edge, top of the nose, and bridge that together with one, two, three, four, five, six segments. Just like that. Okay, we're just going to have to 
weld these shapes together that's easy okay we go to vertex mode and we can highlight these two and we can activate weld go to the weld settings and we'll weld that together Cl click on this little plus icon highlight these two plus icon highlight those two if this doesn't weld together just uh, adjust your threshold until it just snaps together mine are quite close so they will I don't need to adjust the weld settings plus sign and there we go okay that is now all welded together so we can see we have a nice loop over here okay so that's what you want uh, for these uh, characters okay especially when it comes to the face if you have these loops then uh, should you and should you do uh, a animation of a talking character then uh, this will all um, what's the word uh, deform it'll all deform um, very smoothly because of these loops so those loops are very important okay so what uh, we're gonna do next is we're gonna go and fill in the nose area okay so we can get that done so we'll go and do the nose I'm just really gonna pause the video because I just want to do some uh, quick touch-ups here and there like I, ha I see I have a few issues so I'm just gonna go and touch that up okay so now we're gonna go and fill out this nose area so I'm gonna go to my front view I'm gonna take these two edges and I'm gonna bridge that together just with one segment okay for now and and I'll just go and shape this I'll go to my left view and push that back Should be fine for right now. Okay. Um, next thing that I want to do, actually, we have. I want to bridge these two together. Okay. I'm gonna go to bridge. And I'm going to add, I need one, two, three, one, two, three. yes, there we go. So I'm going to add four segments over here. I'm going to go to vertex mode and target weld. That one to that one, that one to that one, and then this one to this one. Okay, so now we can easily see how we can slowly start to bridge all of this stuff together. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. This is actually perfect. So we'll go edge mode, select that one and that one, and I'm going to bridge that. Uh, okay, we need to see how many segments because over here we have one, two, three, four. Um, let's see what are we gonna do okay I think what I'm what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause I'm gonna stop the video here because um, if these videos go too long then the file size is gonna be too big so I'm gonna stop the video here and then I'll continue on with a uh, next video where we're gonna fill out uh, all of these holes